Good evening, guys. Good evening, good evening. Hello. Say something. Good evening. Good evening. Your cameras. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Switch on your cameras. Let's take a photo. <clears throat> Hi, Louis. Love your background. I love your background picture. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Turn on your camera. Come on. Let's take a group photo. <clears throat> Hi, Calvin. It's afternoon in UK, right? Yeah, it's about 1.30 now. 1.30. Wow, okay. Not working today? Working. Start at 5, so I still got time. Ah, uh, all right. <clears throat> ah, Malik, you're walking to where? Walking home? Walking to work? Walking home, walking home. Walking <laughs> to meet a date? Hey. No, like walking home. Walking home. Walk Walking to use my laptop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Especially. Yeah, too, especially. Ryan, not wearing any shirt. At home, uh. <laughs> oh, is that your shirt? <laughs> no, nah, free and easy. I, that's my that's my screen. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Or is that a ten line? Am I going to be exciting? Well, if you if you invest in crypto, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. If you don't invest in crypto, then uh, <laughs> then it's just FYI, FYI for information. <clears throat> Hey, how are the rest? Turn on your cameras. Come on. It only takes a second to turn on your camera. Okay. So get ready, yeah. One, two, three, smile. Okay, great. <clears throat> All right, this is our first uh, project's deep dive session. <clears throat> uh, there'll be more. Okay. All right, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, three projects. Okay, three layer ones and layer two smart contract blockchains. <clears throat> uh, wait, let me share screen. Uh. Okay, can you see my screen? Ten, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> so the first two, uh, 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 I guess you guys already know. Okay, it's called Matic Polygon, Matic, and uh, Immutable X. <clears throat> so what is Matic and Immutable X? Basically, they are layer two smart contract blockchains <clears throat> built on top of Ethereum. Okay, and Ethereum, as we know, they are the first uh, smart contract blockchain ever created. <clears throat> they have the most number of developers and users. They have the most amount of money okay, locked inside as a, as a, as a form of staking. <clears throat> or another way to put it, they have the most money invested in it <clears throat> among all the layer ones, uh, block, uh, layer one blockchain, okay, layer ones. <clears throat> <clears throat> and they are, and Ethereum is also the second biggest crypto in the world in terms of uh, market cap after Bitcoin. Okay, and Ethereum is be better tested. It is the safest blockchain out there. Okay, it is better te tested. It is the most robust. Uh, it, meaning uh, it's difficult to hack into Ethereum. Okay, it's difficult to hack the blockchain. Okay, it's already many people have tried since 20, uh, 2012. <clears throat> okay, when, when Ethereum was uh, invented or created or developed. Okay, so many people have tried, uh, none have succeeded. So that is why many developers they, they want to use uh, Ethereum if they have a choice. If given a choice, okay, but unfortunately, okay, Ethereum is very expensive. <clears throat> okay, it is developed in 2012. It is you can call it a an old technology. Okay, uh, the developer didn't expect uh the the it I mean, I, I probably uh, the developer of Ethereum didn't expect it to be so popular, didn't expect it to be uh <coughs> uh so much used by by developers and users. <clears throat> so that's why when they developed Ethereum, they only gave it, uh, okay, the, the, the transaction speed of Ethereum is less than 50 per second. If I'm not wrong, it's about 12 or something. It means 12 transactions per second, which is very, very slow. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Those of you who know about Ethereum, but it's very slow. Okay, now it's very slow, but when it was developed, it was very fast. Okay, because in 2012, there wasn't a lot of uh, applications built on Ethereum. Even in 2017, okay, when I got into crypto, okay, there wasn't a lot of uh, uh, applications built on Ethereum then. <clears throat> Not like today. Right? 
you have DeFi applications, you have NFTs, you have games, you know, you have all these uh, decentralized applications <clears throat> all over the world. Okay. So as a result, Ethereum has slowed down tremendously, right? The fees are very expensive because of the heavy usage. <clears throat> In 2017, when you send, let's say you send USDT through Ethereum, that's the only that's the only way to send it, uh, USDT is through the Ethereum blockchain because there was only one layer one blockchain. It, it costs only a few cents. Then, okay, All right, but now it costs more than ten dollars. Okay. In some cases, it can go as high as 20, 20 to $30 to send something, to send crypto through the Ethereum blockchain. <clears throat> okay. But it's very stable. It's very robust. It's very difficult to, in other words, it's very difficult to break down. Okay. But the fees are expensive and it's very slow. So how? <clears throat> okay. That's where layer two smart contract blockchains come in. Okay, that's where Matic comes in. Okay, Matic was developed okay, to solve the, the, the speed issue and the, the, the fees issue of Ethereum. It's built on top of Ethereum, okay, which means, very simple, if you use Matic to build your project, to build your applications, okay, you are still building on Ethereum. Okay. But when users use your uh, when users use applications that are built on Matic, okay, they don't pay the fees associated with Ethereum. Okay, they don't encounter the slow slowness encountered with Ethereum, but they still get the, the, the safety and the robustness of Ethereum. You get what I mean, guys? You get what I mean? If yes, if you if you get what I'm saying. Please type yes in the in the chat box. <laughs> if you don't get what I mean, please type no in the chat box. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, in a nutshell, that is a. Uh, I mean, that's what uh, layer two scaling solutions are all about. Okay, basically, they help layer ones to be faster, to be cheaper. <clears throat> Understand? Okay, so currently, the top, <clears throat> in my opinion, the number one layer two in the world is Matic. So why do I say so? It's, it's not because of its market cap. Okay? It's because of the number of developers that are building on Matic. And not only that, okay, also the number of non-blockchain companies. Okay, that means they are traditional companies. Like, like Disney, you know, okay, traditional companies. They are using Matic <clears throat> to build, to get onto, onto, onto Web3 to build Web3 projects for their Web2 business. You get what I'm saying, guys? Let's say you're a traditional company, right? you're an entertainment company or a whatever, whatever a restaurant, okay? You want to get onto the blockchain. You want to get onto Web3. You're a Web2 company, okay? So you know nothing about blockchain, right? But you want to get onto the Web3 bandwagon, okay? And you want to build an application for your Web2 company in Web3. So it's either you build your own layer one or layer two, okay, or you write onto a layer one or layer two to build your application. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? So a lot of companies they have chosen <clears throat> Matic to get onto Web3. A lot of Web2 companies. So how to <clears throat> you 
Okay, so how to find out more information? Very simple. Okay, Google. <laughs> Google, Google, Google. Uh, but I've already done that for you guys. Lah. So, <clears throat> so you guys don't have to do the heavy lifting. Okay, this is one uh, website. Okay, I've done most of the heavy lifting for you guys. Right? If you want to know more, okay, you can go online and uh, Google yourself. Okay, what we always say, do your own research. Okay, this is one website. <clears throat> So you can see some of the brands that are building on Polygon, okay, or Matic. We are not talking about some small companies, okay, some Kuching Kurak company. We are talking about major players in their respective industries, okay. We are talking about, let's say, Adidas, Nike, Starbucks, Disney, uh, eBay, okay, Robinhood. <clears throat> Can you all see the, the words, guys? Can you see MasterCard? Yes? Yes. Can you see uh, Bentley Motors? Yes. yes. Can I? Yeah. Or maybe... Uh, let me zoom in some more. Now, is it better? <clears throat> yes. Can you recognize some, some famous companies there in this list? These are, these are just some of the companies that are building, that are using Matic to get onto Web3. And these are non-blockchain companies. Okay, they have never done anything related to blockchain before. <clears throat> okay, they are all traditional companies. And you have my favorite football club over here, Liverpool FC. <laughs> okay. So there's a reason why these companies, they choose uh, Met, uh, Polygon, okay, Matic, right? As I mentioned, <clears throat> okay, Matic is building on top of, uh, I repeat again, it's building on top of Ethereum, and Ethereum is the most stable, safest, most robust blockchain out there. Okay, unfortunately, its fees are high and uh, its speed is slow. Okay. So, so imagine you want to send an NFT, to, to a friend, it takes ages for your friend to get it. You don't want that, right? <clears throat> if you are running a business, you want it fast. Or if you are running a uh, loyalty program, okay, you want things done in an instant. You want transactions to be done in an instant. Okay. So if you choose Ethereum, okay, it's going to take ages. Okay, in the blockchain world, okay, it's going to take ages. Okay, one minute is considered slow. <laughs> You want it in seconds or microseconds. <clears throat> so if you want something safe, you want something as safe as Ethereum, as, as stable as Ethereum, okay, as robust as Ethereum, then but you don't want to pay the fees and you don't want to, to wait so long. You know? right. So, I mean, of course, there are a lot of layer tools out there for you to choose, okay, but there's a reason why people choose Matic. Because they are very good developers, they have a very good marketing team. They are they are well known in the in the crypto space, <clears throat> okay. And their technology, I won't say it's the greatest, okay, but it is very good. Okay, to me, there's no greatest technology, okay. okay. It's only there's only good and bad, okay. And Matic is very good, okay. All right. <clears throat>
Yeah, give you some websites uh, where you, uh, you can go and uh, do, do research on your own. Okay, this is Polygon's uh, website, okay, polygon.technology. Hey, if you want to know more about Polygon, what is Polygon, how it works, okay, uh, what's the technology all about, okay, this is the website to go to. Okay. Then if you want to take a shortcut, you don't want to read so much uh, information, you just want to know <clears throat> simply what is, what is Matic. Okay, you can go to cointelegraph.com. Okay, you can go to this particular article where it explains to beginners. Okay, what is Matic? <clears throat> okay, or you can simply Google what is Matic or what companies are building on Matic, for example. Okay, just, just use Google. You'll find a lot of things on Google. Okay, that's where I do my research anyway. Oh, by the way, that's where I do my research. I don't go to the library because you cannot find, you, you won't be able to find anything on Matic <laughs> much by going to the library. <laughs> Anybody still goes to the library or not? <clears throat> Any one of you still go to the library frequently? And if you go to the library frequently, please type yes in the chat box. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> when the weather is hot. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know who still goes to the who who still go to the library nowadays. Okay, when you can find almost any any books online. I mean, go to the library to read. Lah, huh? Don't go to the library for massage. Eh? Okay, this is another uh, okay, website where you can get information on uh, real-life partners, real-life companies that are building with Polygon or building on, on the Polygon uh, blockchain. <clears throat> Right, you can see. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what this is, but I like to eat lobster. <laughs> okay, so this is an online seafood delivery uh, company. Apparently, right, they are uh, they are gonna launch their NFT loyalty program, lobster perks. Okay, whatever. Right. <clears throat> so if, as I said, if you're a company like Adidas or Nike, you want to build, uh, you want to launch an NFT loyalty program or <clears throat> or a loyalty program on Web3, okay? you, need, you need to look for layer 1s or layer 2s to build on. You need to use their technology to build. <clears throat> okay? So, all these companies, okay, they chose Matic. <clears throat> you can see MasterCard, Warner Music Group, Starbucks, uh, National Geographic, Ubisoft, DraftKings, Instagram, Starbucks, uh, even Singapore. Okay. All right. You want to read this? All right. Even our country is building on uh, Matic. <laughs> okay. Leverages Polygon and Aave in cross currency transaction involving tokenized Japanese yen and Singapore dollar. Okay. I don't know what it means exactly. All I know is. They are building on Matic. <clears throat> okay, so who's building on Matic? 
uh, I would make a guess is MAS because of this picture. Right. Uh, as you can see here, the Monetary Authority of Singapore successfully completed a cross transaction involving tokenized Japanese yen and Singapore dollar deposits. Right. Okay, even Ernst and Young, <clears throat> SoftBank. Stripe online payment service. Uh, Robin Hood, for those of you who trade stocks, <clears throat> uh, you know what, what Robin Hood is. Uh, what else do we have here? Siemens, Disney, Prada and Adidas, uh, NFL. Google, MGM Grand, India. What else do we have? Uh, Snapple, Liverpool FC, Associated Press, JB Morgan. Right. Okay, load more. Okay, slowly go and uh, read <coughs> on this website. Okay, to find what are the companies that are building. Uh, they are working with with uh, Polygon. Right. <coughs> uh, yeah, Volkswagen. Yeah, Coca Cola, Clinic. Uh, what else you have here? ESPN, Acura. Okay, the list goes on. Okay, so slowly go and read. So what are the... Okay. Then another source of uh, information <clears throat> that you guys can get is Twitter. So if you want to be a crypto investor, you need to go on Twitter. Okay? If you don't know how to use Twitter, you need to learn how to use Twitter. Because on Twitter, you can follow the company or you can follow the developers, <clears throat> the people who develop that technology. Okay, So this is uh, Polygon's Twitter, Twitter, Twitter page. Right, <clears throat> book market. If you want to follow Polygon, so this is where uh, the company or projects. Uh, Keep in touch with their, their followers or post updates. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Twitter is where, where people or companies usually post their updates about whatever is happening to their company or to themselves. Okay, another. Another Okay, this is another website of Polygon. Yeah, sorry, this is the, the, the other, the first one. Let's go see that. Okay, this guy is uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Polygon. He's one of the developer. <clears throat> All right. So you want to know anything that's happening to, to Polygon? Okay. We should follow this guy also.
Yep. Okay, it's the same person. Yeah, and then uh, this guy, this guy, uh, this one guy that I'm following, I think he's a Singaporean. I think, uh, right? <clears throat> so this guy, uh, very interesting. Okay, whatever uh, this, the, the, uh, what this guy posts. <clears throat> so he did a post on uh, Polygon. Okay, about uh, what companies are building on Polygon. Okay, what are the real world businesses that are building on top of Polygon? Okay, yeah, you can go to his post and uh, take a take a look. Uh, if you want to follow him, go ahead. <clears throat> right. Uh, these are the people I use lah, to do to do research for me lah, so that I don't have to do my own research. <laughs> work smart right <clears throat> okay actually doing research in in crypto is very simple okay. you don't have to do everything yourself in fact i don't do i do less than 10 percent of the work myself okay most of the job are done by other people <laughs> like this for example okay they do the research i just pick their research <clears throat> but of course we need to verify like, whether whether what they what they say is true or not. <clears throat> okay, by simply uh, googling. <clears throat> okay, so all taken down. All the Twitter Twitter uh, links. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay, then next we will go to this. Okay, recently Polygon just launched their uh, what they call an e uh, Ethereum scaling ZK EVM. Okay. So uh, what this simply means is Polygon is now faster and cheaper than before. Okay, the good, the very good just became even better. But of course, this technology is still in beta, which means uh, they're still testing it. <clears throat> Uh, you can see here it allows developers to deploy smart contracts with increased with increased finality and lower cost All right so go and read up on it <laughs> okay Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, this this one this this is a very good article. Okay, it explains to you what is uh what is this Ethereum scaling zk EVM technology, right? Okay, and not only that, okay, Polygon has partnered with Immutable X, okay, for the new zk EVM Ethereum gaming network. Okay, now we go into Immutable X. Okay, uh. So what is Immutable X? Okay, basically Immutable X is, as I said, is also a layer two scaling solution. Okay, it's also built on top of Ethereum. Okay, but it's almost the same as Polygon. Okay, but the only difference is Polygon focuses on businesses. You know, like, you know, like Adidas, Nike, Starbucks. Okay, they focus on businesses. Okay, Immutable X focuses on gaming, games, blockchain games, which means if you are a 
blockchain game developer. Okay, you want to build Web three games. Okay, blockchain games. You want to look for a smart contract blockchain to build your game. You would go for, or you could go for Immutable X. Okay, because they are specialized in gaming, in blockchain games. Okay. Polygon is like everything, right? What all sorts of businesses can build on Polygon, but Immutable X focuses specifically on games. Y'all see the difference? If yes, yes. Or, or if yes, say yes. Lah. Yeah, I prefer your start speaking. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. By yes, this, I know yes. I won't. I'm. I'm not talking to myself. Yes. 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 Correct. Okay. <clears throat> In other words, if you are a gaming developer, you go look for Immutable X. If you are a a a, a, a traditional business, a restaurant or a a, a sports com a sports company or a sports shoes manufacturer, you look for Polygon. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this website and this website okay All right guys you need, you need to understand huh? you need there are billions of people in the world playing mobile games. Right. We, we all know that billions of people. Okay. And a small fraction uh, a, and a large portion of this, this, uh, these players, they are not on blockchain yet. They are not, they are not playing blockchain games yet. Right. Imagine when these people come in, when these people start to start to play blockchain games, you know. You know the loading, the load on, on layer one smart contract blockchains, how great would that be? Or how great that would be? Okay. But I don't know whether Immutable X can tackle all right, the, 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 the number of players in the future. Okay. But currently, currently it's the number one layer two smart contract blockchain for games, <clears throat> okay, for gaming developers. Okay. I don't know, maybe five years down the road, there could be a better one, a better layer two, okay, or a faster and cheaper layer two, or I don't know, uh, five years down the road, Immutable X may, may become like Ethereum, okay, it's become slow, the fees are expensive, okay, we don't know, right, but currently, okay, Immutable X is the number one L2 for blockchain game, game developers. All right, <clears throat> so if you want to invest in in uh in 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 the game uh, blockchain metaverse or gaming space right so this is one project this is one coin or this is one company that you need to you need to uh, look out for in my opinion you need to have this coin in your portfolio okay uh imx immutable x okay same with polygon Okay, if you are talking about L2s, uh, okay, layer two smart contract blockchains, okay, these are the two uh, that I'm very bullish on, okay, Polygon and uh, Immutable X. Okay. They are not like some, some new layer twos no, that nobody is building, okay, nobody is using. Okay. They already have companies, big companies using their, using their technology to build something, okay. Right. There are people using their technology. So as long as people, as long as companies right, keep using their technology, okay, they won't fail, they won't close down. <clears throat> Let me not say they won't. Lah, okay? It's very unlikely that they will just go to zero. Right? Compared to uh, some new layer tools that are just launched, okay? uh, nobody is building on it yet. Uh, no developers are using it yet. No users are using it. Okay, nothing. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Now, those are risky. 
Polygon and Immutable X are less risky. Not say no risk, okay, but it's, <coughs> it's less risky in my opinion. Okay. So let me give you some websites if you want to if you want to know more about immutable X. Okay, this is uh, immutable X's website. Okay, you can go there and take a look, see what they do, what they what, what are they building. All right. Okay, future of gaming design for games, okay, blah blah blah. Okay, basically it's a gaming layer two blockchain. Right. So for those of you who like to read, okay, you love reading technical stuff. Okay. This is the website to go to. <clears throat> Okay, just click on documents over here, top left hand corner. Ah, and you you can read all the all the technical stuff. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kevin, uh, Kevin, you're sharing the other screen. Can we can't see this? Oh, cannot see. Yeah. Uh. Eh, why? Uh? Yes, we are seeing polygon, not IMX. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, wait, why did I have two screens? Can you see now? Yeah, yes. Yeah, this is yeah, the yes. website, right? As I said, the uh, future of gaming away, it's okay, blah, 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 design for games. Okay, this is the website for those who like to read. Okay, so okay, this is the second website. So if you want to, to read the documents, go to the top left-hand corner, click uh, Docs. Okay, and uh, knock yourselves out. <laughs> and let me see what else. Immutable X. Okay, you can follow Immutable X on Twitter. For those of you who don't like to read so much, you just want to know what is immutable X. Okay, you can go to on the surface, you can go to this website, which has a very nice explanation on uh, what immutable X is. Okay, you can go there, go and do your own research, go and read up more about immutable x then another site that explains to you what is immutable x okay this is from binance so it should be accurate, lah, Binance. Right. <laughs> ah, so all these are for, for laymen, right? The okay, this one, this one, this part here is for the, the, the techie guys. 
Okay, those who study you know, computer programming, engineering, <laughs> right? Uh, people like me, people like me will go to these websites. <laughs> So this, this particular article mentions how much immutable X raised during 2022. Okay, they raised more than $900 million okay, during a bear market. Okay, 2022 was a bear market. Right? A lot of companies, you know, they... They want to find, they want to raise funds, also very difficult. <clears throat> but Immutable X managed to raise more than 900 million from investors. Okay. And one of them happens to be Tomasek. Mm -hmm. okay. Exclusive NFT startup immutable value at 2.5 billion in Tomasic led financing. Okay. So not only Tomasic invested in Immutable X, okay, Tencent Holdings, one of the biggest uh, uh, game developers in, uh, from China. Okay. They also invested in uh, Immutable X. Okay. Way back in 2022, March. Okay. Okay, that's all for Polygon and Immutable X. Okay, the third project I want to share with you guys is Avalanche. AVEX. Right. So what is AVEX? Okay, AVEX is a layer one blockchain. Okay. It's uh, different from Ethereum. It is faster and cheaper than Ethereum. Right. But I wouldn't say it is uh, as safe and as better tested as Ethereum. <clears throat> okay. Okay, but it's good enough okay, for some for some companies to, to use them. Right. So if you want to know more about it, uh, what is Avalanche, okay, you can uh, just go to the this, these two websites okay, and read up on it. Okay. Okay, I'll play a YouTube video to explain to you what is Avalanche. <clears throat> okay. 
Yeah, I use video to explain to you better than I explain to you. Huh? <laughs> Monzaro Kong, I can't write again. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to say again because they never were and they're complicated. See, with Monzaro.com, making a Gantt chart is as simple as throwing a process of project stages here, adding owners and timelines and whatever other details you need here. And then ooh, you got Gantt and it happens. This is going to be a fun video because Avalanche is such a new protocol that one day we might watch this video. With can you can you listen? Yes. Yeah, uh, yes. in the future and realize how crazy it was for us to explain it so early avalanche hardly has any promotional material just nerdy documentation and lengthy white papers lucky for you that is exactly what we are into welcome to whiteboard crypto the number one youtube channel for crypto education and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies stories and examples so that you can easily understand them in this video, we are going to explain what the Avalanche network is, what makes it different than literally any other crypto application I've seen, and at the end, you'll learn the secrets of the AVAX token, including exactly why the price recently went from $16 to $55 in two weeks. Let's dig in. To understand the Avalanche network, we first need an economics lesson about their unique proprietary consensus model. First of all, you need to know that the consensus model people used for a long, long time was called practical Byzantine fault. Around the 1980s was when this thing took off and was essentially a computer science algorithm that helped a bunch of things come together and make a conclusion based on the information that they had. Next up, around 2009, we had the start of Bitcoin, which introduced the Nakamoto era of consensus. Nakamoto created and shared the proof of work mechanism, which we have an entire video about, but is in many ways better than the old Byzantine model. Finally, in 2020, Avalanche launched their Avalanche consensus model network. This thing is complicated, so I'm going to attempt to give you a high level understanding of it without upsetting any of their engineers. Now, basically, the network follows proof of stake pretty closely, but it does have a few unique differences. First off, the avalanche model uses a form of subsampled voting. This means that there's a large group of people who volunteer to participate in the network and get randomly asked to check things. To put it in their own words, small random subsets of validators are asked whether they think the transaction should be accepted or rejected after it is initially thought to be valid something called network I mean, the, the spin change participants exchange information back and forth back and forth and continue to validate the transactions or deny them one of the benefits of this is that contrary to proof of work and proof of stake mechanisms it doesn't matter how many nodes there are, how many people there are in the system, consensus will be reached within a certain desired time frame. Also, due to some technicalities, this consensus model is actually much more difficult to attack. Unlike Bitcoin, where you would need 51% of all the computers to attack the network, or Ethereum 2.0, where you would need 51% of all the staked tokens to attack the network, with Avalanche, you would need to control up to 80% of the network to perform an attack. Let's get on to the important stuff though. This model allows for up to 4,500 transactions per second per subnet and has a finality clock of less than three seconds. Now we'll explain what subnetting is later because it is really important. But right now you just need to know that each subnet can process up to 4,500 transactions per second. And if you have a thousand subnets, well, you can do a lot of transactions. Compare this to Bitcoin with seven transactions a second and an hour long finality. And even Ethereum pales to compare with 15 transactions a second and a 10 minute finality. Before we continue, the finality of clicking the like button is pretty much immediate. So if you do us a big favor to support our hard work on creating these unique high value explainer videos, it would mean a lot to us. So now that I've basically explained how the Avalanche consensus model works, let's get into the real thing where Avalanche shines. It's network infrastructure. So first off, Avalanche has one primary network, 
that network has actually three built-in blockchains with it. That's right. Avalanche just isn't one blockchain. It is at least three. But we'll get to that in a second. So the first blockchain in the network is called the X chain. This is the part specifically for creation, management, and transaction of tokens on the network. Now, the engineers would tell us, in technicality, this is actually based on a DAG, which is a unique form of a consensus model, unlike a blockchain, but it is out of the scope of this video. I just thought it would be interesting to add that the Avalanche team is not married to one protocol. Next up, we have the C chain. So the C chain is specifically for smart contracts. It is actually an exact copy of the Ethereum virtual machine. So that way you can instantly copy and paste and start using Ethereum dApps on the Avalanche network. In my opinion, they were very smart with this, allowing developers to move their projects over without doing much work. This chain also uses something called the Snowman Protocol, which I'll talk about in a minute. So we have the X chain for transactions. We have the C chain for smart contracts. Next, we have the P chain or the platform chain, and it is specifically for management of the subnets. It also coordinates all the validator nodes and the staking mechanism. Now, this brings us to a very big and very important question. What are subnets? Well, each subnet is a new network in the Avalanche ecosystem. That's right. This system is scalable in so many ways. Let me try to explain subnets. Each subnet can have multiple blockchains, just like the primary Avalanche network. Secondly, each blockchain in a subnet can have its own consensus model. Now, from what I've heard, this means if you're creating one, you can pick proof of work or proof of stake, depending on your needs. Another really cool thing is that each blockchain can have its own VM or virtual machine. You can copy the Ethereum virtual machine, just like the primary chain did. Another important thing about these subnets that I didn't really understand at first is that they can be permissionless or permissioned. This means that they can either be public or private blockchains. The feeling that you have when you work because you want to, not because you need to, is priceless. Now, you might start to understand the purpose of this. If you are a government and you want the full power of a blockchain without developing the groundwork, you can just add a subnet in Avalanche's ecosystem. Maybe you're a government, or maybe you're a business or an organization, or some other protocol needing to use these very powerful tools without wanting to actually invest in something new. In Avalanche, you can even change the rules for each blockchain in your network. You can make it so that it is compliant across many different geographic or political requirements. For example, you could say every validator in your subnet needs to have a license, or maybe they need to fill out certain tax information. Avalanche is built to be able to create and follow rules like that. One last important thing that I thought I would add is that to validate your own subnet, you are also contributing to the validation of the entire network via the primary three chains. Now, let's get into something fun, because moving on from the infrastructure, let's get into a specific detail about the network. So the main primary network uses the Avalanche consensus model, but Ava Labs created an even more powerful consensus model called the Snowman Protocol. And yes, just to make you understand them, let's talk about the quick difference between the Snowman Protocol and the generalized Avalanche Protocol, because the difference is quite small. However, it is powerful. So the Snowman Protocol is the linearized version of Avalanche so that it can fit the needs of the Ethereum virtual machine. Basically, Snowman Protocol has been optimized for smart contracts and high throughput. On the other hand, Avalanche is a more general use case where it is implemented using a DAG structure, which is also seen on the X chain. Now, like I said at the beginning, a lot of this stuff is really confusing, so I'm trying my best to explain it so that you can understand it. You may need to watch this video more than once. Summing it all up, these were a bunch of technical terms, but you just need to know that the Avalanche developers are really smart and basically optimize things as best they can for the situations that they see fit. Next up, before we make any price prediction or let you in on some very useful information, let's get into the tokenomics of the AVAX coin, which powers the network. First off, there is a max cap of coins at 720 million. This immediately makes it a deflationary asset. Secondly, AVAX coins can be used as a governance on the platform, meaning the more coins that you hold and stake, you have more voting rights, and you get to make important decisions in the future of the network. 
Here's the bad news though. Ava Labs pre-sold 127 million coins when they launched, and many of those coins are subject to an unlocking period. This means many investors who bought the coin at 50 cents may want to lock in some of their 100x profits and sell immediately whenever they can. Now, this is bad news for investors, but the good news is that they aren't dumping all of these coins at once. So here's a picture of their unlocking schedule. And if you're thinking of investing in AVAX, be mindful of these dates and how the past dates have affected price. Another thing that's worth noting is that the team and the foundation were also given around 20% of all coins. Finally, what you've been waiting for, the good news about AVAX and why their price has spiked so much recently. So the Avalanche Foundation has announced a $180 million incentive program to get people to try out their network. This means they are quite literally giving away $180 million for free as a form of advertising. This happens all the time in the DeFi world, and it's not a scam. The incentive program is supposed to bring two big players to the network, Curve Finance and Aave. Now, Curve and Aave have tens of billions of dollars of liquidity locked up on networks like Ethereum and Polygon, so it was really smart of the team to get them to come over to the AVA network. When this initially launched, we saw the price of AVAX spike from $15 to $55 in a few weeks as hungry investors started bridging their money over using the AVAX bridge. Now, we will never give financial advice on this channel, and we'll probably never do price predictions. But this is a very bullish signal for anyone interested in the AVAX network. Finally, we want to say thank you guys so much for watching throughout this video. We hope that you've enjoyed it. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, we hope to see you in the next. Okay, how many of you don't understand what the video says? On. How many of you don't understand? <laughs> Lost. How many? So few. Huh? Oh, that means all of you very smart, eh? <laughs> I need to watch a few times and I understand, no? Hmm. You cannot catch everything. Uh. <laughs> Bernard, just, just buy and hold. Yeah, correct. Right. Okay. okay, the thing about investing in crypto is you don't need to know how it works. Okay? All right. It's just FYI. Okay, just for your info. That's all. Okay, if you don't really understand, it's okay. Like what Bernard says, just buy and hold. If you believe in that protocol okay if you believe in that project then just buy and hold simple okay All right <clears throat> so of course as i said as i mentioned if you guys want to know more about a particular project just go google okay you can find a lot of information on google and also on youtube <clears throat> okay you can use youtube and then uh, use the search bar and type what is avalanche. So YouTube also has a lot of information for you to do research. <clears throat> okay, now. So if you want to invest in AVAX avalanche, this is the... This is the company's Twitter page. Okay. No, that means it's not, uh, not, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Is it this? No, not that. 
Okay, this is the one. Uh, guys, not that one. Uh. This. This is the one. Okay, this one. So this is Avex's uh, Twitter page. Okay, so if you want to invest in uh, Avex, uh, follow them. Right. So why, why did I choose uh, Avex? Oh. All right, recently, Amazon. Just chose Avalanche to 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 get into or to go or get into Web three. You know Amazon, right? The biggest e commerce company in the world. And not only AVAX, Tencent also chose Avalanche okay, to build something. I don't know what they are building. <laughs> okay. But these two big companies, right, they, are, they, they chose Avalanche okay, to build their, their stuff to get into, into Web3. Right. So you can just imagine, right? Tencent already have millions of developers on Tencent Cloud. And they're bringing tech, avalanche technology okay, to those users, to those developers. Okay. When you invest, when you want to invest in a layer one or layer two smart contract blockchain, okay, you want to you want to know okay, whether there are developers building or, or using that technology or not. Okay, if there are no developers building on that technology, right, then you don't have a, a layer one blockchain to shout about. Okay, right, because developers build applications on their blockchain. And when you have applications, okay, you have users okay, using those applications. In other words, using that blockchain. So if you don't have developers, you don't have users, then you don't have a blockchain. No matter how good you say your blockchain is, no matter how good your, the technology is, if there are no developers, no users, you are nothing. Okay. Uh, those, those are companies that I don't invest in. Right? When I invest in layer ones or layer twos, I want to see okay, whether there are developers building on it, whether there are users, okay? using the applications that are built on it. So of course the king, okay, the, 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 the godfather is of course Ethereum. Right? Ethereum has the most developers and the most users okay, and the most money invested in it. Okay? That's why Ethereum is a, uh, is a relatively safe investment. Okay? Of course it still carries risk, right? but among all the layer ones out there, okay, it's the, it's the safest. <clears throat> and of course, Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is not a smart contract blockchain, so we put that aside. So you want to talk about smart contract layer ones, okay, smart contract blockchains, Ethereum is the safest uh, company or project to invest in, right? So of course, there are other good layer ones out there. There are other good layer twos out there, right? Slowly, I will, I will share them with you, okay? But today, we'll talk about We'll, we'll, we'll just concentrate on AVEX, Polygon, and Immutable X. Okay, All right. So if you want to read this thread, this particular thread, here it is. If you want to read this one about Amazon and partnering with AVEX. Here is the thread. Okay, you guys can go and take a take a look. Okay, what Tencent and uh, Avalanche, uh, what Tencent and Amazon are building or are going to build 
on Avalanche. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so, any questions, guys? Can read Maro here. Yeah. Okay. Talking about this IMX, right? Immutable uh, smart contract. So, my question is basically, as you say, right? This protocol is more on uh, block gaming blockchain. The question is, uh, can you, do you have any idea in which gaming it will be used? I mean, what is the usage? So for example, right, what I mean, if you play something like what gamer, uh, any game. So sometimes, right, they are, they are, they are offering something like diamond. So let's say level one, from level one game to level two. If you want to skip level one to level two, you can buy diamond with the real money. And then after that, by buying this diamond that, they, that the platform offers, you can directly jump to the next level without even completing the quest in the previous level. So right now, right, if you are saying this oh, IMX... The question is very long. No? <laughs> can you come to the point? Or? Yeah. Uh, can you, do you have any idea how it is being used? I mean, what is the implementation of this uh, IMX in gaming? Maybe if you can explain something that we know, most of us know which gaming that how it is, what is the, how it is implemented? Go to the website. Go to the website. Okay. I'll go Google it. Yeah, I you see. That already, right? You want to okay. know more about Immutable X? How is it, how, how it works? Okay, go to the website. Okay, okay. Because you remember last time, right, Kelvin, the things that made me think about this, right? Last time when desktop, is introduced was introduced very simple, okay, very simple yeah. guys all right mm -hmm. if you want to get onto the blockchain which is web3 okay or decentralized or decentralization right you need mm -hmm. a smart contract blockchain to build your application okay all right you need their technology to build your whatever you want to build. <clears throat> so there are a lot of companies, there are a lot of projects out there you can choose. Immutable X, AVEX, uh, uh, what have you, Ethereum, okay, uh, Polkadot, what else? Cardano, Solana, uh, even, even Binance Smart Chain, right? There are a lot of smart contract blockchain you can choose to build your project. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? So each layer, each, each, each smart contract blockchain has their own programming language. Okay. In other words, it's, it's like, it's like, you want, it's like in, in the web two world, if you want to, you want to develop a game, okay, you need, you need a programming language. Okay. I'm not a computer science student. I'm not a programmer. Okay. I don't know what programming languages are there, are there are out there. Okay, maybe some of you, some of you who knows, okay, you, you, you can help us out. Okay. You can type in a chat box. Okay. Okay. I, I know you, uh, I know Ethereum uses, uh, uh, a, a programming language called Solidity. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> okay, anything else? I don't know. Okay, the, 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 the programming language for Ethereum is called Solidity. How it works? Okay, I don't know how it works. How to use it? I don't know how to use it. Okay, as I said, I'm not a computer science student. I'm not a programmer. Okay. Yeah, okay. As I said, okay. if you want to know more information, go Google. Go and Google. Or ask ask any of your friends who are computer who, who who are computer science students or computer programmers how how things work okay all, right. all I know is if you want to build on web three you need to find a smart contract blockchain mm -hmm. companies okay to build your project 
So okay. if you are a gaming developer, you want to build a game, okay? Uh, of course, there are a lot of other, other layer twos or layer one smart contract blockchain uh, companies you can look for. Okay? But currently, right, a lot of game developers are building on Immutable X. Okay? okay. Right. Which means okay, there will be a lot of games that are built on Immutable X, okay, which also means a lot of users are going to use the Immutable X uh, technology, okay? which also means a lot of people in the future are going to use IMX, the coin. Right? Just like mm -hmm. Ethereum, if you want to use Ethereum or if you want to use a, an application that is built on Ethereum, okay, you need to have Ethereum to pay for gas fee. So each mm -hmm. transaction you 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 uh you do okay on an application that is built on ethereum okay requires you to pay gas fee okay we call it gas fee or transaction fees in ethereum okay if you are using an application that is built on imx each transaction that you do on that application on that app requires you to pay the transaction fee in imx Can you see the picture? Yeah. If a lot of gaming developers okay, are building on IMX, that means in the future, okay, there could be, I don't know, tens of, or maybe even millions of games that are built on IMX. So imagine every transaction that takes place okay, in those games, like you send an NFT to somebody, or you buy a gun, or you buy whatever, you know, every transaction, as long as there's a transaction, users have to pay a fee in IMX. So if, if I say if, uh, if nothing goes wrong, all right? if nothing goes wrong with, uh, with, with the company, with the project, with the technology, okay, it doesn't break down. Right? If nothing goes wrong, right, can you imagine Right, five years, I don't say 10 years, 10 years too long. Five years from now, how many games, okay, if if, oh, if the number of developers are, uh, continue to build on IMX, how many games will there be, okay, that, uh, that is on IMX, or that is on Immutable X? Okay, imagine the number of transactions that takes place every day. Imagine the number of, uh, of transaction fees that people pay in IMX every day, each day. Okay. The numbers will make you go bonkers. So, will there be a value for IMX then? Okay, you guys decide, lah, huh? Right? <clears throat> okay. So. So that's why I'm bullish about IMX and uh, Polygon. And of course, Ethereum. Lah, yeah, right. okay, but Bitcoin and Ethereum, we put aside. Okay, those, those two coins, uh, if you are a conservative investor or safe investor, okay, those two coins is a, uh, well, you definitely need to have in your portfolio. Lah. Okay, it's, it's hard for them to fail. Okay, not say it cannot fail, but okay, it's hard for them to fail, right? Okay, um, so I'm sure most of you know this website called Coin Market Cap, right? <clears throat> so if you want to invest in in crypto, okay, you need to use this website very often. Okay, Coin Market Cap. Okay, have you all bookmarked it? <clears throat> yes. Okay, coin market cap. Okay, first, let's go to Polygon. So if you want to search for a particular coin, very simple, just go to the search bar, top right hand corner, type in the name of the coin. Okay, Matic. Okay, 
So you come to this page that shows you all the information an investor needs to know about the particular coin. Okay, you can see the total maximum uh, over here. You can see the total supply of the coin. Uh, in this case, it's 10 billion. Okay, so over here, the number of coins that are already in the circulation, which is 9.2 billion. All right, over here, you see the market cap of the coin. Okay, Polygon right now is uh, 10 billion. And you see the fully diluted market cap which stands at uh, 11 billion based on the current price. Okay. <clears throat> so since the market cap is 10 billion, the fully diluted market cap is 11 billion. Okay, by the way, how is fully diluted market cap calculated? Okay, very simple. Just move your cursor to this, this uh, eye icon over here. Okay, right. they explain to you how the fully diluted market cap is calculated. Okay, basically, right, it's calculated based on the current price multiplied by the total, total uh, the maximum supply, the total supply of the coin. <clears throat> so in this case, right, based on the current price and the total supply of 10 billion, Matic's fully diluted market cap is 11 billion. Okay. Market cap is calculated based on the price multiplied by the current circulating supply. So in this case, it stands at 10 billion. So what's the significance of this figure and this figure? They're very simple. Right? The closer they are, the least likelihood that we get dumped on by whales okay, or by the early investors okay. because most of the coins are already in circulation very little very little okay uh, less than 10 percent are still being held by somebody okay, by a whale or by I don't know by the developers <clears throat> or by the early investors so there's very there's a there's a very low chance okay that a huge amount of uh, matic okay, will be suddenly dumped onto the market, thereby crashing the price. Do you get it? So if you want to invest in a project, okay, you need to look at these two figures. And you need to base your decision on these two figures, how much you want to put into the project, how, how, how much risk okay, you want to take <clears throat> in that particular project. Okay, and to ensure that you go to the, 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 the correct website. Okay, you know, there are a lot of scams website out there, okay, in, especially in the crypto space. Yeah, okay. So you don't want to go to a scam website. You know, now, nowadays scammers are very sophisticated. They can make a website that looks exactly, exactly the same as the original website <laughs> right exactly the same everything is the same everything okay except the the domain name except the link okay so you want to go to the real website the actual website and the way to do that is come to first come to coin market cap then go to the go to the coin okay search for the coin right and then click on the coins website from coin market cap They don't anyhow click. They don't search polygon. Okay. And then, so then you see an ad advertisement. Yeah. Or, or, the, or, or, you know, on the search page. Okay. Number one, polygon something, you know. Okay. It could be a fake website. It could be a, 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 a scammer's website. Okay. So always come to coin market cap, search for the coin. Then go to the website, the company's or the project's website from Coin Market Cap. Okay. Right. 
So if you want to read the white paper, you can uh, read the white paper of Polygon if, if there are, if there is. So chances are there will be a white paper. <coughs> not found. So not found, then don't have. Then you need to go to the website. Okay, uh, search around. It's, it will be somewhere there. If you cannot find a, a, the white paper of a project, then uh, better run away. Okay, I don't invest in projects that have no white paper. Right? <clears throat> okay, so anyway, that is, uh, that is, that is the, the first thing that I look at when I invest in a project. Okay, I, I look at uh, the market cap versus the fully diluted market cap. Okay. Next, of course, is the price. So when should we buy? When's the right price to buy? Or right time to buy? Okay. So very simple. Now we go from being an investor to a trader. Guys, do you know an investor is also a trader? As long as you buy something and then you sell it at a later date, you're a trader. Okay. As long as you buy something at, a, at X price and you sell it later at Y price, you are a trader. Okay. Just that investors trade on a longer time frame, a very long time frame. They try to use a, a chart, try to use a, a chart that gives you as much as much uh, information as possible. Right? I usually go to Binance because Binance has been around since 2017. Okay, Bybit is a is a very new, quite new quite a new exchange. Okay. So you may not get the you may not get the price of Matic uh, that stretches way back to 2018 or 2017. Right. So Binance confirm will stretch all the way back to 2017 because 2017 they were around. So if Matic was listed on Binance in 2017, you should be able to see the 2017 price. Okay. If Matic is okay on, on Bybit, you won't be able to see Matic's price or, 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 or Ethereum's price at 2017 because, Mat, uh, because Bybit was only launched, I think, last year, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So we go to spot. We don't go to futures. Huh? We go to spot. And normally I'll use a daily or weekly chart. Okay, this is a weekly chart. So this was the all-time high. Uh, 290, 292. Okay, Matic was launched uh, in 2019, somewhere here. Lah. So imagine if you had bought Matic here, like, I don't know. How many cents? Huh? Okay, if you had bought Matic here at less than, uh, okay, you can see this, this number here. Uh, less than one cent. Imagine if you had bought Matic at less, at less than one cent then in 2019. Okay, how much would you have made today? Okay, from less than one cent to one dollar. Uh, anyway. Uh, that was then. Uh, don't expect the price to go back down to that price. Okay. 
So, very simple. So firstly, the question is, do you believe that when the next bull cycle comes, when the next bull market comes, which I think will be in 2024, 2025, okay? okay. All right. When the next bull cycle comes, okay, do you believe okay, that the price will go back to its all-time high? Okay, first, you need to ask yourself, do you believe or not? If you believe, okay, then if you buy now, you would make at least 162% in uh, about a year to two, okay, about one to two years. Let me see, if you invest in this coin, and if you believe that when the next bull cycle comes in 2024, 2025, right, the price will go back to its all-time high and beyond, you will make at least 162%. So if you believe, then buy lah. Then put your money in. If you don't believe, then forget it. Okay. But will it drop? Will the price drop? Well, I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. That's where the trader in you comes in. So very simple. Start by drawing lines. Okay. Except that this time we are using the weekly chart. <clears throat> Find your support and resistance. Okay. On a weekly chart, currently, Matic is trading on or very near the support. Okay. So should you buy and hold now or should you wait for a breakdown? Okay, it's up to you. All right, that could be a breakdown or, or not. All right. Or this could be the bottom. Okay. Or there could be a break now. So if it breaks down, this will be the next level for us to load up. <clears throat> Some more matic <clears throat> this level. Okay, which is around 80 cents. Okay. So do you want to load up some now? At around 110. Okay, when I size 160, uh, just a few weeks back, right? Uh, no, just a few months back, February. Okay. Now the price has come down 30%. Okay, from February. So which means you're getting it at 30% cheaper. Okay. Than in, in Feb than, than, than those who buy in, in February. Okay. But of course, if you believe that it will go back to its all-time high, then it doesn't matter whether you buy at 130 or 70 cents, lah, honestly. <laughs> okay. Remember, now we are not trading futures anymore. Okay, we are buying and holding. So it doesn't matter. That's why I, we don't need to use one hour or four hours chart. We don't need to zoom in. Okay, we don't need to be so detailed. Right? We are buying and holding for the long term. And if you look at a one hour chart, stochastic is at the bottom. Right, or nearing the bottom. Okay. So you got to decide whether you want to buy now or you want to wait for a breakdown. Okay. So if you want to wait for a breakdown, it may never come. It may never reach 70 cents or 80 cents. It may. Okay. We don't know. Okay. So you need to decide as an investor. Buy now, wait. Or buy some now, put a stop loss here, just below below this yellow line. Okay, so that if it if it if it goes down now, right? If it breaks down from this trend line, okay, most likely it'll go down to here. 
according to the charts, okay, where, which is where the 200 MA is. Okay, most likely, okay? not guaranteed, but most likely. Right. But it may not come down. Okay, it may start to go up from here. So if you put your orders here, then uh, it will never be filled. Okay. Just like if you put your orders here, lah, it will never ever be filled. <laughs> okay. All right. Because I don't think uh, Matic will go back all the way down to below a dollar or a few cents. So you need to decide. Okay, looking at the charts. Right. If you buy now, okay, do you want to buy now and then put a tax, uh, put a stop loss here? So that if it goes, if it goes down, if it breaks down. Okay, you get stopped out here with some losses. Okay, but you still have cash in hand. You still have money in hand. Okay, to buy at a lower price. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, you buy hundred dollars worth of Matic here, right? If it goes down, you get stopped out here. Okay, you lose ten dollars. You still have ninety bucks. You still have ninety dollars in hand. Okay. Then you wait for the price to go back down here, go to here, this level. Okay, then you use that $90 to buy Matic at 80 cents. Okay. Okay, by that time, right, the number of Matic you have in your hands should be more. Okay, should be more than what you had started up with. Okay, let's say, for example, you use $100 to buy Matic at, uh, okay, let's say $1. You got 100 Matic. Okay. All right, then you put your stop loss here at let's say uh, 90 cents. Okay, if it drops below 90 cents, you get stopped out. You lose 10 matic. Uh, no, no, sorry, you lose uh, you lose 10 dollars. <clears throat> okay, you have 90 bucks, but as the price reaches 80 cents, you use the 90 bucks to buy matic at 80 cents. Okay, you would have more than 100 matic. In your hands compared to your original purchase, which is only 100 matic. In other words, you get more coins as the price drops. That is one way of investing by using stop loss. Okay. So that if the price keeps dropping, you keep getting stopped out, but you keep having cash in hand. Okay, to buy at a lower price. Your original capital is still the same. It's still $100. You don't add in new, new funds. Okay? You just use the original money, original capital okay? to keep buying as the price goes down. Okay? You will find yourself ending up with more and more of the coins. Okay? As an investor, okay, that's what we want. Okay. If we believe that the price of the coin will go back to its all-time high, we want to have more and more of the coin. Not lesser, no. All right? Okay. So using stop loss okay, is one strategy. Of course, the other strategy is what we call dollar cost averaging. Okay. But that requires you to have a lot of money, to keep having money. All right? That means if you buy $100 here. Okay. As the price drop to here, you add in another $100 to buy. I mean, the total capital is $200. And if the price drops further, you add another $100 to buy. Okay. So this strategy requires you to be cash rich. <clears throat> right? So you decide as an investor, which strategy do you want to, want to use? If you are those that are not very rich, you, know, you, you don't have like, like unlimited cash uh, to keep buying and buying, buy, 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 then I suggest you use the stop loss strategy. So that if the price were to drop, okay, you have cash to buy at a lower price. Okay, so these are the levels to load up. If you want, you can use a daily chart. Okay, to find your support and resistance. So of course, another one will be here. La. If the price drop to that level, la, I hope it does. <laughs> okay. uh, 30 cents. 
Who bought Matic when it was at 30 cents? Uh? Hmm? Last year during the dump. 30 cents. Serious. Kelvin, can I ask a question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you are just sharing just now um, uh, how we can actually get more uh, Matic tokens. Uh, in short, you are sharing uh, how we can uh, make money from Matic mm. in the long run. I'm just I'm just curious because uh, Matic is one of the one that you are very bullish and currently Matic is about $1 plus. Uh, I look back at the CMC, the highest uh, Matic has is about $2 plus. So if we go back to all-time high, which is 290. About, uh, 290. So, so it's slightly less than 200%. Uh. Uh, so that is provided uh, the next bull run maybe one year later or two years later. Um, why not Instead, there is so much more potential in your AVEX, in your uh, immutable, where, where if they go back to their all-time high, you actually get about 9x or 10x. And I mean, you can hold that. It, it, isn't that easier to reach 2x than Matic? If I were to buy AVEX, and I would, AVEX right now is about $18. Uh, I didn't check yet. I think all time high is quite high one. Um, so isn't it better to it's e it's much easier to two to three x on AVEX than on Matic? Do you? Bernard, it's up to you. You are the investor. You wanna buy? You wanna buy Matic? You you buy lah. You don't wanna buy Matic? Don't buy lah. You are the investor. You wanna put everything into a Matic? Go ahead. Mm. Or you wanna put ten percent of your funds into Matic? It's up to you. We talk about diversification, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, up to you lah. How much you want to diversify? Do you want to put some money to Matic? I'm bullish about Matic. Matic won't go to zero. You get what I'm saying? Uh, so, okay. okay. It's like it's like why is micro strategy buying Bitcoin when we know Bitcoin will not give when. They know lah, okay. Bitcoin will not give 10, even 10x lah. But why are they scooping up Bitcoin? They're stable. Yeah lah. Do you want me to, to, to tell you how to buy unstable coins? Can. Slowly lah. This is just one option for you all. Okay, if you, want, if you believe in, in Matic, then you put some money in Matic. I put some money in Matic. Okay. I'm buying Matic. <clears throat> Is in my portfolio. I've been buying Matic since 2020, 2021, 2022. No, 2021. I still have a lot of Matic, which I bought in 2021. Okay. And I will still buy Matic when the price is right. Thank you. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Because I don't like to put all my money into one, one, one or two projects. I'm not like Rash. I like to... I like to Diversify. So this is one project that I'm bullish about. This is one project that I feel is safe. Okay, that's what I'm sharing with you guys. You can don't buy. <laughs> <Right. clears throat> you get what I'm saying, Bernard? Yes, I get what you are saying. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I know this will only give 162 percent. That's why I'm not going all in, bro. I'm stupid, right? No, I'm not stupid. I'm not going all in because this will give only like one or two X. So, so I also won't advise you all to go all in because it will only give you one or two X. It was not going to give you 10 X Matic. I'll be honest with you. It will not go to $10 in the next bull, bull run, in the next bull mass cycle. Okay. Uh, it, or it may lah. Okay, but very unlikely it will go to $10. Very unlikely, but not impossible. Okay. But I look at the charts. Okay. Well, charts are telling me that from now, if we buy to the previous all-time high, it's only about 1.6x. So you decide as an investor, do you want to buy now? How much do you want to buy? Like I said, first thing you need to ask yourself, 
do you believe in this project? If you do, next, do you believe that the price will go back to its all-time high? Yes. If let's say your answer is yes, okay, then the third thing you need to you need to ask yourself, okay, are you gonna buy at this price? Since it's gonna only to gonna give you about one point one point one point six times, if it goes back to its all-time high, are you okay with that? If your answer is yes, then you need to decide how much you want to buy now. These are questions that I cannot answer for you. Right? Only you can answer yourself as an investor. Okay, but I'm telling you, I am accumulating matic. Because this is a good project. Okay. Just like Ethereum. Why are people buying Ethereum? Because it's safe, right? Chances for it for it to fail, go to zero, the coin go to go bust. Okay, it's very, very low. So that's why people invest in Ethereum. Okay. Right. They are not, not some investors, they are not looking for the 10, 20, 30, 100, 1000, 1 million X. Okay, they want they want safety. Okay, which which I advise. Uh, which I advise investors in my in my uh, crypto fundamentals and investment course. Okay, you need to diversify your 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 portfolio. You need to have some money, okay, in safe coins. Okay, you need to have some money in medium risk coins. You need to have some money in high risk coins, and then you need to have some money in very high risk coins. Okay, which I will share in May. All right, you don't put everything into Bitcoin or Ethereum. I mean, you can, all right, but you are not going to get 10x from there. No way. In the, in, uh, in, in the next bull cycle. Okay. Okay. If you can get 10x from Bitcoin and Ethereum in the next bull cycle, okay, can just imagine okay, the other altcoins. Okay. Matic will give you 20x, man. AVEX will give you, I don't know, 100x. Huh? No, AVEX, not, not, not really. Maybe give you 30 to 40x. Uh, immutable X will give you 100x. If Bitcoin and Ethereum were to go 10x. You agree, guys? Bernard, do you agree? Bernard? Hello, Bernard. Bernard is gone. Noah, is he still here? Bernard, are you still here? He might be having some connectivity issues. <laughs> okay, never mind, I forget it. All right. But do you guys agree? Huh? Yes, yes, agree. Yes. I also yes, want, yes, yes. I also hope uh, Bitcoin yes. can go 10x in the next in the next uh, bull cycle. All right. Then my entire portfolio will go 100x. And I bought those coins in 2021. Uh, 20, sorry, 2022. Okay. But we have to be a bit realistic, all right? <clears throat> okay. So you guys decide if you if you believe in Matic or not. Okay, it's currently the strongest layer two out there. Okay, in terms of, uh, like I said, as I said, in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, developers building on it, right? <clears throat> so you decide. Okay, next would be IMX, immutable X. Okay, so same thing. We go here. Oh yeah, by the way. Okay, if you scroll down further, I'll scroll all the way down. Okay, if you go to coin market cap, you scroll all the way down, down, down. Okay, down to this part. This part here. Okay, you will be able to find the exchanges that are uh, that the particular coin is listed on. <clears throat> okay, for 
For example, in this case, Matic is listed on Binance, it's listed on Coinbase, it's listed on KuCoin. Uh, most of us use KuCoin, right? So you can go to KuCoin and buy Matic. Of course, we can also you, you can also buy it on Bybit. Okay, you want to see all markets. If you click all markets, it will show you all the exchanges it is listed on. Okay, da 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 da. All right, uh, Kraken, Bitum, okay, whatever. Okay, All right. So these are the exchanges that uh that you can buy Matic from. <clears throat> so since we have KuCoin, since we are using KuCoin, I just go to KuCoin and buy lah. Or if you already have funds in Bybit, then just go to Bybit Smart Market and buy. Okay. Then please remember to transfer it to your hard wallet lah. Okay. For investment coins, okay, or for, for those coins that are for investment purposes, that means you will you are gonna buy it and hold it for at least a year. Okay, don't leave it on centralized exchanges. Uh, don't leave it anywhere lah, except in your hardware wallet. Okay, All right. Just remember FTX. <laughs> so the FTX example shows us that any exchange can fail okay right and if the exchange fails and your coins are in there then uh too bad right all those coins are gone okay next we go to imx immutable x Okay, now, Immutable X, I'm not so bullish as compared to Matic. Okay, although I'm still bullish about IMX, but as compared to Matic, I'm not that bullish. Okay, in other words, if I have to, if I have to go all in, I will go all in to Matic. I will not go all in to Immutable X. Why? Because you look at the market cap and the fully diluted market cap. There are at least more than 50% of the tokens unreleased. It's somewhere held by somebody or some whales or some group of people. Okay. Most likely the developers uh, and uh, the developer, the developer team, okay, some early investors, big whales, <clears throat> uh, probably the Masik, I don't know, right? Okay. It's held by them. And you gotta you have to know. These guys, they bought their coins very cheap. <clears throat> very cheap. The early investors bought Matic at few cents or less than one cent. Right. <clears throat> so I'm sure the early investors would have bought Matic as at maybe less than less than I don't know, 10, 20 cents. <clears throat> of course, there's a way to find out. Lah. Okay. So I'm not that bullish. I won't go all in immutable X because of the fully diluted market cap and the market cap. Right? At least half, 50% of the supply is not released yet. <clears throat> so there may be a chance that we get dumped on by investors or uh, early investors. Okay. So if we look at the, the chart of IMX, okay, its all-time high was at about $9. Now it's about $110. So there could be a chance okay, that it will go back to its all-time high. Okay. Or before it goes to its all-time high, okay, we have about a year. Okay. Within the year, uh, some dumping may occur okay, by, by early investors when the, when the, the, the coins are, are slowly released to them. <clears throat> Which means within that within the next one year, okay, there could be further buying opportunities if there's a huge dump. 
that means the price will go lower okay, if there's a dump. Okay. Or there may not be a dump. Okay, investors don't, don't want to sell. Okay, because they also believe that you'll go back to $9. So all the early investors, even though coins are released to them, they don't sell or they sell a little bit. Right? Maybe just to take back their capital plus some interest. Okay. We don't know. Okay, a lot of things can happen. Okay, that's why I'm not that bullish about IMX as compared to Matic. Okay. But I'm still bullish about IMX as compared to the whole crypto market in general. <clears throat> that, is why I'm, that is why I have IMX in my portfolio and I'm still adding IMX. I'll still be adding IMX into my portfolio. All right. So let's go to IMX. <coughs> Draw our lines. Look at where the possible support and resistances are. Look at where the possible key areas are, key levels. Oh, I hope it goes back down to 30 cents, 40 cents. <laughs> okay. So this, if you believe that you go back to its all-time high, hey, why like that only? Finance. Hey. Hey. Anyway, coin market cap gives you a more accurate picture. Huh? The all time high was at uh here about here. Okay. $9.32, okay, 9.3172. Nine, 9 okay. Okay. Which means if we invest now, okay, and if the price really goes back to its all-time high, okay, we can probably get 8 to 9, 9x from uh, immutable x. Yeah. But you got to take note, huh? okay? 50% of the coins are not released yet into the market. So there could be dumping by early investors or by whales, okay? We don't know. Or by the development team or by the developer himself, the founder, okay? We don't know, right? So you got to take note as an investor. Okay? Whether you're going to go all in or don't want to go all in. Okay? Don't just because you see, oh, 9x, 10x, oh, good coin, I go all in. That's, that's a stupid investor talking. Right. <clears throat> As a seasoned investor, you need to take, you need to look at the market cap, look at fully diluted market cap, look at the circulating supply. Okay, it's different from investing in stocks. <clears throat> okay, right. <clears throat> so decide. So what are the levels to buy? if you dis decide to, to invest in uh, IMX. So as I said, we have support there. We have this here. Okay, it's currently trading at this, this, this level.
So it's currently trading below the resistance. So should you buy now? Or should you wait for it to drop further? Okay. You have to decide. Okay, this will be the next level to load up if it drops to that level. Lah. Okay, which is a 200 MA, the, 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 the daily 200 MA moving average. Same thing, you can use the stop loss strategy or you can use dollar cost average. Okay, it's entirely up to you. If it drops further, then this would be the next loading up zone. Around 40 cents. Okay. Yeah, I got the numbers. Got it. Okay, next we take a look at AVEX. You look at the market cap and fully diluted market cap. Okay, circulating supply and maximum supply. Okay. Same thing as IMX, more than half is not more than half is not uh, released into the public yet. So same thing as AVEX, uh, same thing as IMX. Okay. Don't go all in into AVEX. Even though uh, I'm not going all in, even though I'm bullish about AVEX, okay, because more than 50% is not released yet. <clears throat> right? Okay. It's all time high was about $140. $134. Okay, now it's trading at $18.60. AVEX. Yeah, forty something. Uh. Are ready? Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Avex.
Okay, so for AVEX, it has just bounced off support. <clears throat> so we, we missed the dip. Okay, but can we, well, as, a, as I mentioned, if you intend to buy AVEX for, for long term, uh, it, it doesn't really matter whether you buy here or here. <laughs> okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. So you decide. AVEX, we have a. Uh, we have about 5x, 5 to 6x. Okay, to its all time high. But you got to take note. There are still 50% of uh, coins yet to be released. Okay. Okay. Then another way, another thing that investors need to need to uh, decide is: Do you think AVEX is worth thirteen billion dollars at fully diluted market cap? Or do you think it's worth more? Or you think it's worth lesser? Okay, based on this price. That means if if for example, okay, you feel that at most, okay, Avalanche is only a $10 billion project. At most, uh, 10 billion. Okay. That means okay, this $18 is overpriced already. Because if all the coins are released into the in, 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 into the market, okay, at this price, it's gonna be worth 13 billion. Okay. But you feel that this is overvalued. You feel that AVEX is only a $10 billion project. Then don't buy, don't go in. Okay. This is overvalued. However, if you think that AVEX is a $50 billion project, or well, then of course this is undervalued. Lah. At this price. <clears throat> so if you think that this is undervalued, then buy lah, then invest. <clears throat> I don't look at the market cap. Because the market cap doesn't really give me a, 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 a an accurate picture. I look at a fully diluted market cap. Okay. I can tell you amateurs look at market cap. The professionals they look at a fully diluted market cap and the market cap. Let's take Arbitrum, for example. Amy, are you around? Amy? Yes, I'm here. Uh, are you the Amy that makes a lot of money? Yes. <laughs> I know there are two Amy's. Amy's, how much do you... How many, uh, how many Arbitrum tokens do you have? Do you mind sharing with us? 5,000. 5,000. How much did you pay for it? Pay if we got it free. We got it free, yeah. Guys, listen properly, yeah. Free, yeah. <laughs> because uh, uh, invested in no, their no, 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 NFT no, project. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. She got it free, yeah. Okay, she is something like an early investor. Okay, she did a lot of stuff, like, okay, staking, whatever. That's why she got airdrop. Imagine yeah. you have 5,000 Arbitrum, guys. You. Uh. Okay. Hey, why didn't you sell? Uh? Uh, so some. So oh, 2,000. Some, and and then 3,000. Now you got 3,000 left. Yeah. So you went as high as how much? Uh? 1.5. What? 1.5. 1. 1.5, right? The highest 1.5 something. No, I went higher than that. Lah. Why this one don't have? I know. Lah. Highest is 1.5, I think. <laughs> when it launched? The highest was $10 or 11 At least 10 lah. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. When yeah. it launched, we were, I was looking at the chart. I was like, what crazy? <laughs> Somehow, some Chinese people managed to the and they managed to sell. Why didn't sell you sell at $10? Lah? 
No, because those ten dollars is uh China. Those some people who hack the coding and they managed to sell at the high price, oh. and uh, during the drop, many people got delayed. That's why we got it late. Oh okay. Anyway, you went. Phew. All right. Yeah yeah. Level lah, my right, guys. Imagine if you have a. Uh, and Amy, do you consider yourself someone who got a lot of airdrop or? Above average or below average or the, low. Uh, among the low, low, lower tier. Low. Some of our friends got it even more, like yeah. 15,000, 20,000. Okay. I know some uh, serious. Uh. Yeah. 15, because they sweep the whole, they sweep the floor, like the treasure NFT project, they sweep Whatever. the floor. Okay, you need to do a lot of things uh, to get a lot. Of... Yeah. There's no freelance in the world, uh, okay? Guys, you want to get all these airdrops, you need to do a lot of work, uh, in other words. But it's free money. Uh. So mm -hmm. Okay, Amy is Amy is not one of those uh so called whales uh. No, we are small. Among the, the lower the lower lower food chain. <laughs> okay, small the fish. top one, the top those those really whales those that get a lot of free tokens. Okay, we are talking about hundreds of thousands. <clears throat> okay, six figure. Airdrops free. Okay, now imagine if you have so many. Arbitrum la, tokens, la, which you got free, you know. Okay. I don't know when all these all these investors are gonna dump the coin onto the market. I really don't know. Okay. But all I know is the market cap is one billion now, but the fully diluted is 11.9. Okay, which means out of 10,000 million, 10 billion tokens, okay, more than eight. 0.7 billion tokens are in the hands of some people, okay, like Amy, for example. <laughs> but Amy is a small player, right? Even though I'm bullish about Arbitrum, they have good technology, they are fast layer two, okay. But investment wise, I am not bullish, I'm not going to go all in. Why? Because of this, okay, because of people like Amy and okay? not, huh? they are still holding on to Arbitrum. I don't know when they will throw onto the market. No? I'm waiting, lah. In other words, yeah, I'm waiting. That's why I only I will only buy Arbitrum below one dollar. Anything above one dollar, I'm not gonna buy. Below one, I will buy. Okay, because of these figures. <clears throat> okay, now is Arbitrum worth a one point five billion dollar project or no or, or eleven point nine billion fully diluted? I will say right now, no. Because it's just an it's just launched, it's a new layer two. Not a lot of developers are building on it yet, compared to Matic or IMX or some or some even other layer twos. Even Solana. Okay. Right. There are more developers that are building on Solana than Arbitrum. So Arbitrum is not tested yet. It's not, it's not better tested yet. Okay. Even though they have good technology, okay, it's one of the good. Layer tools around. It's faster than Matic. It's faster than uh, Immutable X, right? It's cheaper, okay. But it is new, okay. Well, number one, plus number two, more than eighty percent. No, sorry, nine. Uh, almost ninety percent of the of the of the supply is being held by people like Amy, who got it free, or the developers, or the early uh, or, or the development team. Or the early investors. Okay. So I wouldn't aid in if I were you. Okay. But I will slowly accumulate arbitrum, but only at below one dollar. Okay. If it doesn't fall below one dollar, how? Then don't buy lah. It's not the only layer two out there. Okay. It's not the only project, it's not the only coin out there. Okay. And because it's new, we don't know how many X it will do. Okay, this we can't take this as a as a reference point now, okay. And say that oh Arbitrum will go 10x. Okay, because this is not a good reference point. So Arbitrum has no data, no, no historical, not enough data for, for me to, to judge how many X it can do. It may probably go 100 x I don't know. Okay, or you may just do a, a few X. Nobody knows. Okay, but I will only buy below one dollar for Arbitrum. Okay, but today we're not talking about Arbitrum. 
Okay, that's why I don't talk about arbitrum. Lah. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. About, about a project that a lot of people say are good. Okay, by what, what why am I not aping in? Okay, because of these two figures, because of these figures. Okay. Right. So as a crypto investor, if you are a, a, a seasoned crypto investor, you won't just you won't just look at the technology. Oh, it's good. Oh, uh, a lot of developers are building on it. Ah, blah, blah, blah. A lot of users. Okay. You look at other numbers, other figures like this, especially a fully diluted market cap. You need to take this into account. You need to take this into account. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this is. Okay, this is how crypto investors invest in crypto projects. It's like it's like uh, stock investors, okay, value investing. They look at balance sheet and whatever. Lah. Okay, value investors, I, uh, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, you look at value, you look at the balance sheet, you look at what, I don't know, what PE ratio, that ratio, this ratio, and, and all that stuff. Okay, because it is readily available. But in crypto, you can't, there's no balance sheet for you to see. Okay, there's no PE ratio or, or what whatever. Okay. So what kind of figures do we look at then? We look at these figures. It may not be 100% accurate, okay, but it's the best that we can have. That's how that's how we make judgment. That's how the, 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 the seasoned crypto investors make their decision, base their decisions on. Okay. Figures and market cap, fully diluted market cap, circulating supply, okay, total supply. Right? They look at uh they look at a community, you know. Okay. Are there are there people, are there people building on it, you know, and, and, and stuff like that? Okay, we let's go back to Avalanche. So AVEX <clears throat> about five to six X. Okay, but take note, more than 50% is still in the hands of some investors. Okay, so more than 50% are not released yet into the market. So again, these are the levels if you have missed out for Avex. Lah. Of course, guys, go, go and do your own, uh, go and do your own analysis, right? Using the weekly chart and daily chart. You don't need to go lower than daily if you're an investor. <clears throat> if you want to buy uh buy and hold for at least six months, no need to go lower than, than daily chart. Yeah, as I said, it just it just bounces off. The support okay it even uh break out broke out from uh the the the, the daily 200 ma okay. so you well you can buy now right just looking at the charts right the next resistance is here so there could be still some upside about 17 percent okay and then uh, i don't know sell here if you think that you drop back down okay then if it drops, okay, then wait for it to drop back down here, then buy again. So besides, so besides dollar cost averaging, besides using a stop loss strategy, another strategy you can use is buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. But this requires more work. Huh? It means you buy low, sell high, wait for it to come down, buy low again, sell high again, wait for it to come down, buy low again, sell high again. That's another strategy to increase your stack of coins. But that requires work. Okay. 
So any questions? No questions, no questions. Okay, I'll continue. Okay, now this is a website you need to go, uh, you need to bookmark. This shows you the token unlock schedule of almost all the crypto projects out there. That means it will show you when <clears throat> tokens are going to be unlocked. Let's say, for example, uh, IMX. Okay. If you want to know when is the next token unlocked and how many tokens will be unlocked, you come here, you search, you search for the particular project. So the next event will take place nine days later. Nine days, 19 hours, seven minutes, and 36 seconds. So click it. You will see more information over here. Uh, how many tokens will be released? Basically about 18 million which is 0.9% of the total supply will be released on this date, 22nd of April. So you have to decide, will this affect the market or will it not? Or do you want to wait? <clears throat> wait until after 22nd of April. Okay, then you see whether there's a dump or not, whether there's a dip. <clears throat> okay. So that's how as an investor you decide. Okay, when should you buy? Should you buy today? Okay, what if you buy today? So let's say, for example, $1.13. $1 then 22nd April, which is 10 days later, okay, these tokens are released to investors and every one of them sell, right? Causing a, a, a slight dip in the market. Okay, the price dropped below $1. <clears throat> Then how? Well, you experience paper loss ah, temporarily. Yeah. Yeah. Or should you wait and see? Okay. See whether there's a dip or not. Whether, whether the price will go below $1 or not after the 22nd of April. Okay. So you have to decide. Next point, AVEX. Yeah, we know there's still 50% unreleased. Hmm? Don't have, how can it be? Oh, don't have. Okay, if let's say you don't find a coin there, you can go to another website called Token Track. Alright, 
Yeah, you have to register if you want to find, you want to have more details. So AVAX is on token track, but it's not on token unlocks, yeah, which is strange. Don't have uh, Not here. Okay, so for AVEX, you need to go to the token track. Okay, guys, got it? These two websites? Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay, next one is... Uh... Depth Radar. Okay, over here, you can find what are the applications they are building on various uh, blockchains okay Right, let's say, for example, you want to find, uh, let's say, Avalanche, right? <coughs> so these are the projects, okay? These are the applications they are building uh, on, on that, on AVEX, okay? I, I don't know whether, or, or it has something to do with uh, AVEX. I don't know whether the lists are, 100% accurate, okay, but this is where I go to do my research, right? Then you have, uh, okay, let's say Ethereum, hmm, Immutable X, okay? Right, you will you will see a lot of games and NFT stuff. Okay, as I mentioned, Immutable X is focused on games and NFTs. Okay, so these are the games or NFT projects that are building on Immutable X. Okay. So if you're free or if you are interested, you can go through the list yourself. Okay, what are the games they are building? Okay, whether the games are good to play, you know, whatever. Right. So this depth radar, this is uh, another 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 site that I go to do my research. Okay, any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions. No questions, really. No questions, guys. Really, yeah. Hello. So good, are y'all? <laughs> Amy, got any questions or not? Amy, no questions. Supin, ang supin.
Hello, anybody there? Hello. Yes, we are here. <laughs> we also quiet. Yeah, we are here. Oi, also quiet on. Kevin, how to get airdrop? Kevin, I saw one. Uh, I don't know, man. This one you ask Amy. Let me share share your experience how to get it. Not, not today, lah. Not here, lah. Okay, I don't I don't go for airdrops. So if you want to, if you want airdrops, you look for Amy. Kelvin, my namesake. Any questions? Hmm? Kelvin Philip, any questions? Okay, he's not there. Maybe he went to work already. Maru? Uh, no, no, for the moment. Sorasa, why so quiet? Every Sunday you 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 have questions. Why today so quiet? <laughs> today is overwhelmed for me. First time when I listen to daily crypto. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of reading to understand. Yeah, okay. A crypto investor is uh it requires you to do a lot of research. Now. It's not like a trading. You know, trading, you don't have to do research, you just buy and sell, go in. Right. So uh it depends on you guys uh, whether you want to be an uh, investor or not, which I advise you guys you to build a portfolio, la, right? Don't just trade. Mm -hmm. So maybe I, I just want to try to read about Matic, I think, and uh yeah, long. Start with one or two projects first. You don't have to what, what, go one shot, start 10, 20 projects. No, I, right. I, I too started one at a time. Yeah. Okay. I look forward for your next next round when you yeah, want me, to. Yeah, me, 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 I will I will conduct the crypto fundamentals and investment workshop. Okay. Yes. So this cryptorank.io is a website that I use to find out what was the ICO, the launch price of a particular project. Okay, that means the, the, the early investors, how much they paid. And also the investors of the project, like for example, IMX, who invested in it? Okay, Tamasek, lead, lead Samoa. <laughs> okay, uh, Animoca Brands. Okay, when, if, if let's say you, you want to go in, if you guys want to go into the blockchain gaming and metaverse uh, in this sphere, right? Okay. This is one company that you need to take note of. Okay, this company called Animoca Brands. Right. They are one of the, the biggest crypto gaming and metaverse investors in the crypto space. Okay. Their focus is on investing in crypto games, blockchain games, metaverse projects. So any, any, any project or any crypto project whether they are games or, or layer ones or layer twos or I don't know, maybe in the future they are layer threes. I, I'm not sure. Right? Any any projects that I see, they have this company as their investor, I will take particular notice. Okay, I will go and do more research on that particular project. <clears throat> because these guys are good, any mocha brands. Okay, not so thermosic. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And this stupid company, Alameda Research, bloody hell. <clears throat> okay, so you can see the private round. Okay, private investors, they bought it at 10 cents. Okay, now, now, now they still make 10x. Huh? <clears throat> so, <coughs> I don't know. Okay, you have to decide. So let's say you are an early investor. You bought it at 10 cents. Right? Uh, when was it? It doesn't give any dates. Does it? Okay, never mind. Okay, let's 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 imagine. Okay, you ask yourself, if you bought it at 10 cents, okay, if the tokens are released to you now, will you sell at 113? $1? 
let's let's do, some, some. let's do a poll guys All right if you got it at 10 cents right now suddenly let's say suddenly lah, everything is released to you know will you sell at 10 cents who 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 will sell at 10 cents say who will sell everything at 10 cents say yes type yes in the chat box who will not sell type no in the chat box Okay. So you see, so many people say no, right? I, I also won't sell. Lah. Okay. Right. So that means there will, so the, that means the chances of investors dumping on us will not be high. Okay. Because if you won't sell everything, I'm sure other investors, the early investors actually, they also won't sell everything. Maybe they'll sell 1, 2% or 10%. <clears throat> huh? You let it go to zero instead of selling. <laughs> Why? Nobody will sell everything, right? <clears throat> yeah. Because we know IMX is a good project. I'm sure the early investors will also know IMX is a good project, right? They will also, they would also feel the same way as I'm feeling, right? That when the bad, when the bull market comes back, IMX will go back to its all-time high. So the likelihood of investors dumping on us is very low okay even though more than 50 percent of the tokens are still not released yet <clears throat> okay. but having said that there's still a chance that uh, some some selling pressure may may take place like every time there's a token on uh, token 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 unlock Finance only has data until January 22nd. So not, not a good. Okay, you should use KuCoin. KuCoin, KuCoin, where are you? <clears throat> okay, so you guys decide. Whether you want to buy IMX or not. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Wait, why you let it go to zero instead of selling? Uh, no more selling idea. It's 10 cents. <laughs> when I just hold it. I mean, oh. if it's if it 10 cents, there's no point selling at too low. Idea. Right, my question is if tokens are released to you today, <laughs> would you sell yeah. or not? Uh, no. no question. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> right. So anyway, this was the seed round. Okay. Then after that, uh, they have an one ICO. Okay. Probably the I don't know private. This is private. Maybe this is the first round. Fifteen cents. Uh. Okay. This was probably the ICO to the public. Lah, okay. Sixteen cents. Right. Anyway. Kelvin, ICO means. Initial coin offering. <laughs> yeah, initial coin offering. <clears throat> okay, okay. That means launch price. Lah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, something like IPO. So it was launched on Huopi. It was launched on Coinbase. Okay, these were the platforms that it was launched on then in 2021, uh, which is two years back. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so this, this is the one website that I use to... to to look at the launch price of various projects. Okay, that's about all. If no questions, we call it a night. Any last questions? Don't have? Uh, Kelvin, I have a small question. Uh, 
in terms of your portfolio sizing, right? What's your ratio between stable coins and the more riskier ones? I'll talk about this uh, in my workshop. Okay, got it. Thanks, Kelvin. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, but, but in general, I have four categories uh, of coins that I, I put in my portfolio, right? <clears throat> uh, the the, the so-called safe coins, medium risk, high risk, and very high risk. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, can we get in here? I have some question. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Y'all can have my, my bear market coins list uh, on the Discord channel. Okay, go and find it somewhere in the Discord channel under under elite status. I have my bear market coins list which I which I uh built in 2022 last year. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, just curious, are you saying the you know the spot that you collect you put in cold wallet, right? Uh, what are the chances of uh not the chances or if let's say the, the cold wallet spoil, right? What will happen? Uh? Buy another one. Uh. The, I mean the, the things inside your, your coins inside. No, the things are not inside the cold wallet. <laughs> huh? The cold wallet is just a device that connects you to the blockchain. Whatever you, you store or so-called store inside the, the, the cold wallet is actually stored in a blockchain. It's not stored inside the cold wallet. Oh. But you need that device to store your assets in the blockchain or in the respective blockchain. Because without that device, okay, you can't store it in a blockchain. Uh. <clears throat> So basically, it's just a device that connects you to the blockchain. That's all. So if the device spoils, you just buy another device. So if let's say I have some spots in the light bit, right? Uh, when I connect to the cold, uh, uh, what will happen? I have to transfer it out. Or... You transfer directly to the your cold wallet. Okay, your cold wallet will have an address. So you transfer to that address. Okay. okay, depending on what coins uh, you're transferring. So each, each, each coin will have different address. Oh, so if I, let's say my, my bit, I have uh, Ethereum and uh, a bit of Doft and uh, Ethereum and the BTC, right? So I'll have two address. Yeah, so, 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 on, so you have to send uh, Bitcoin to the Bitcoin address in your, in your hardware wallet. And you send Ethereum to the Ethereum address in your hardware wallet. <clears throat> oh. Or if you have Solana, you send Solana to the Solana address in your hardware wallet. So the hardware wallet that we recommend you to use is a uh, Ledger Nano. Ledger, L E D G R. I, I have a treasure. Uh, that one also can. Uh. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All right, any questions? Of course, if let's say you intend to, to use the buy and sell strategy, then uh, it's inconvenient for you to keep it in your ledger, uh, in your hardware wallet. Thank you. All right. All right, no questions. We call it a night, guys. Okay, thank you, Kelvin. Thank you, Kelvin. Okay, good night, good night, everyone. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye, Kevin. Thanks.